Welcome on in, guys. Three Bold Takes again. My name is Freddie. I'm one of your hosts. I'm joined by Chase and Quinn, and we're continuing our What Makes a Team Successful in 2024 series. We've done a bunch of videos. We're going to keep doing them throughout the month of May, and this one should be a good one. Um, We have vastly different opinions on the Penn State Nittany Lions over here at Three Bold Takes. So, Quinn, let's send it off to you first. What does Penn State need to do to make it a successful 2024? Hey, look, it's been no secret I've been a massive James Franklin, Penn State truther for years. I felt like they are a team that is constantly just on the cusp, who sometimes I think gets too much hate because they have been behind. But for the last two years, recruiting at Penn State has finally caught up enough that I can no longer use talent gap to justify losses. Like that, Those days are done. It really kind of started with last year. Now we're on year two of this whole, like, miss me with the talent gap argument. You're good enough now that you got to capitalize. That being said, you look at this Penn State schedule, man. It's not super hard. I mean, you got some sneaky, some sneaky games with Wisconsin, back to back ones at the end of the year with Purdue, Minnesota. But in all honesty, you have a much better roster than every single team you play, except for. Maybe the road game with USC, who's going to be like offense only. And Lincoln Riley has shown he has a huge crux for defensive-minded teams. So I expect you to take care of business in that game. And then you have Ohio State. For me, it's real simple. For Penn State to have a successful year, I'm not saying that they have to win the national title. Heck, they don't even have to make the Final Four, per se. I think for you to have a successful year, you got to get the monkey off your back and beat Ohio State. After that, anything else can fall where it falls. Think of this kind of like Michigan Harbaugh three years ago when they finally beat Ohio State. What happened? They went to the Orange Bowl, got skull dragged by Georgia, but all anyone remembered was they finally beat Ohio State. And the dynamic between those two programs has been different ever since. All right, Michigan has finally capitalized two years after the fact by finally capturing the national title. I think if you're Penn State, it's time to get the monkey off the back, beat Ohio State, and win the Big Ten. After that, let the chips fall where they fall. If you have a a heartbreaking first-round exit in the quarterfinal, that blows, but you still got the big monkey off your back. If you take advantage of that, get a win, go to the Final Four, and then fall to an SEC power. That stinks, but at least you got that. The, the The crucial thing is you cannot get to the playoff, then lose to an Ohio State in the playoff. That would be soul crushing. Like that cannot happen. But if you get there and you lose to like an SEC team or a scrappy Big 12 team in an upset, that's okay. As long as you get a double digit win season, win the Big 10 and take care of Ohio State, you have a successful year if you're Penn State. If not, it's really time to start looking at what do you do going forward. We are talking about Penn State. Personally, for me, there's not really much they can do to have a successful season in my eyes. But if I had to give them some kind of qualifications that might... Hold on, hold on one second. So they could go 12-0, and 0, win the Big Big Ten, and run and win the national title, and that's not a successful year. And I might, get on, I might get on the weekend after and say James Franklin still shouldn't be the head coach of Penn State. That's, okay. That's so much <laughs> All right, well, I, whatever you say from here on out is invalid then. I just want you to know It's, that. it's not, because so I'll, I'll give you my two qualifications I have. Um, one, let's, let's get it. Let's not get it twisted. They're going to make the playoffs. Somehow Penn State sticks around the 8 to 12 range, and that is perfect for them going in here. Uh, would have been perfect for them the last like six years as they lost to Ohio State. Michigan each year finished 9 or 10 or 11. They're going to make the 12 team playoff regardless, no matter what. So that's not a huge win for me because that's how Penn State ends up. I agree with Quinn about the Ohio State. You got to win the Ohio State game. I think my number one win the Big Ten this year. You only have Ohio State. Go out and win the Big Ten. Uh, and my second one that I still believe is real, I think at the end of the season, no matter what, no matter the record, no matter the record, get rid of James Franklin. I'm sick and tired 
this is it's not a joke. Um, if it you is watch a joke. I, I watched the Spring Gate. I did. I did. They suck. They suck. Drew Aller sucks. He sucked last year. He sucked in the spring game. It's it. They have talent on the roster, man. Tell me why I watch the NFL draft and 10 Penn State guys go, but you don't hear about them all season long because they're not a good team. Like, they're just – they they don't – they don't win anything significant. They win moral victories, and that is just what enrages me about Penn State because people are like, well, they did good. Dude, this isn't upward. I'm not giving out trophies. Penn State needs to win the Big Ten, and regardless, I think they should get rid of James Frank. Look, Freddie, I'll say it, this. I think it is hard of hearts. It's not a joke. He 100% believes everything he said. Now, the, the opinion itself is a joke. Like, if I have a coach that's getting double-digit wins every single season, I'm not getting rid of him. But, like, pure and, Okay, let me, before you go, Freddie, before you go, James Franklin, Mark Rick. He loves this James Franklin, Mark Rick thing, but the, the Mark Rick lost his job because he had two years in a row where he didn't get to the double digit win mark. And that's why Georgia let him walk. James Franklin's never dropped that low. He's not dropping games to Wisconsin and Illinois, but, but, but we're sitting here saying that he's only got to beat Ohio state this season. What if he goes out and loses it to the one how like how easy the schedule is? He loses to Ohio state. Are we still going to defend him? No, I just got on here and said Wait, I you, need him. Well, Freddie, you haven't said anything yet. That's Freddie. true. That's true. Freddie, got- I, no, I, I, I haven't, and I'm falling in line with Quinn here. Um, I'll be completely honest with you. I last year, Penn State was my team. Right, they were my team that I was rooting for week in and week out. Wanted them to beat Ohio State. Wanted them to beat Michigan. It didn't happen. It's getting real hard to defend Penn State at this point in in uh, in James Franklin's tenure. Now, what he did at Vandy, I will never forget. I will have 100% respect for uh, for the rest of my life. I don't care. Now, all right, I'm, I'm going to have two different, two different statements here. My own selfish, I don't care if you go 1-11, but you beat Ohio State. Awesome. Awesome. In my heart of hearts, I want it so bad. I I want Penn State to beat Ohio State in the worst way, and I don't care what else happens. Now, take my heart of hearts away. I'm going to my football opinion, football mind here. You still have to beat Ohio State. (laughs) That doesn't doesn't go away. Um, You have to beat Ohio State. I think 11-1 regular season – I would be okay if you if you slip up and drop, you know, the Minnesota game, right? Like you've already beat Ohio State. You sl- at, at that point you would have solidified yourself probably in the Big Ten title game. Um, I would say because you don't because Michigan is going to have a down year. You've already beat Ohio State, so you've got the head to head there. Ohio State has a much harder schedule to me, so they could be looking at one to one if they have one loss as well. Then they're not going to win the tiebreaker to Penn State. Um, so I think you know you're going to be looking at an Oregon Penn State Big Ten championship game, and I think you make the Big Ten championship game. This is your chance to win, right? Like because you don't play Michigan in the regular season, so you don't have the traditional two losses in the regular season that knock you out of the Big Ten championship. You only get one, and that's Ohio State, and you can have the tiebreaker over them if you win. You have got to win the Big Tw- the Big Ten this year, um, and if you win the Big Ten and beat Ohio State, and you get bounced the second round of the playoffs, I'm fine with that. That's success because Gwen, you you said you honestly said it the best that anybody I've ever heard say. Just like Michigan and Ohio State, you get the first win, and then from there you can compound wins. It's that simple. And I think it is that simple for Penn State because Chase, you're exactly right. They get the players. They were talking like this about Jim Harbaugh, right? That he can't beat Ohio State. So, you know, we're going to get, he should fire him. Who else could Penn State hire that could do what James Franklin is doing? I don't know. I 
just popped in my head Elaine Kiffin would be a very interesting hire for Penn State, uh, considering his success at uh, at Ole Miss. But that's another video, another topic. Penn State, I'm looking at you. You beat Ohio State. You win the Big Ten. I don't care what you do in the playoffs. Successful year. Uh, first time uh, winning the Big Ten since 2016, Quinn, I believe. Is that right? Um, eight years, that's a long drought. It's a long drought, Penn State. You got to do it. My pride's on the line. Quid's pride is on the line, and Chase cannot be right. It just, that can happen. More than me being wrong, Chase cannot be right. Uh, so, yeah, that's mine. Anything else? Any rebuttals here to to the Penn State? Just real quick. So there's no, if they win the Big Ten, and they have a win over Ohio State to get there, because frankly, I don't think you're in the Big Ten title game if you drop this Ohio State game. Uh-huh. I'm right. just going to be honest with you. Right. Um. There's a chance they might be. So let's say they drop it and then they get to play Ohio State again. Irregardless, you win the Big Ten. Okay. You do it, you're going to have to beat Ohio State, whether right. that's in Indianapolis or in the regular season. That does not change your opinion at all. You don't think that they could then take that and turn that into a hardball Michigan situation. I think Harbaugh was actually a decent coach. I think Franklin is a really good name. I like it's it's he's he's he was it's, it's similar scenarios. They're winning ten games. What's the difference? Well, Harbaugh did have the cheating scandal that helped him. So maybe if Franklin could, <laughs> it, it could. But I think Franklin, it's it's been there each time, and it has just been the epitome of little brothers. And it's it wasn't one mountain to cross it's two for the longest time they'll have to cross one this year but what about next year what if they have to play usc washington ucla uh oregon ohio state and michigan what if they have to play all those guys next year this year they just have ohio state let's say they do it i don't think james franklin could compound anything and he hasn't shown that he could in the past and he i don't think he can in the future and so maybe the the one reason that might change my mind is if they beat Ohio State in the regular season, they go to the Big Ten Championship, and somehow Ohio State's there again, and they have to beat Ohio State again. And that's that's really because you got the Big Ten Championship, and then you beat Ohio State twice in one season, the powerhouse of the Big Ten twice. All right. Maybe maybe you're cooking with something, James. But So they've got to beat – so they have to beat Ohio State twice. I, I mean – That would be – and that would move me the most. To answer your question, by the way, next year they still don't play Michigan, uh, but they play Michigan State. They're on the road at Ohio State. They have Oregon at home. Ooh. So they get Ohio State and Oregon. All right, that's legit. And so that's back to the two mountains they have to cross. Can we have I'll, to- ask, I'll ask this. What has Oregon shown you in their biggest games of the season to make you think that they're automatically going to be like just this impossible thing for Penn State to beat, because I would argue Oregon's been doing the same thing in the Pac-12 that Penn State's been doing in the Big Ten, which is Agreed. a significantly tougher conference uh, with tougher high-end teams. So that was actually an amazing, amazing question, Quinn. Um, and what I'll say to that is, I just don't have an amount of hate for Oregon yet. <laughs> that's fair. Um, so <laughs> that's you, what you I was going to infer. <laughs> you, you, you do have me there. I'll give you that one. Um, so in Oregon might reach that point, um, but but because I, I do expect Michigan State to be good. We'll, we'll get to into that in another video probably. But regardless, Penn State has a lot of work to do. Need to get the hard hat on, the tools out, the power saw running. And oh, they've got it laid out. And let's hope. We've been saying that for 16 years. It felt like I don't know. You guys now, the only on. question, I mean, they have everything. The only question are the batteries charged and the generator got gas in it. That's that's the question now for Penn State. They've got the tools. They've got the project, the task at hand. Do they have the energy to get it done? There you yep. go. Well, hey, guys, th- th- this has been a great video. Penn State Nittany Lions 2024, what makes them successful. Varying opinions. Uh, Chase is nothing but a hater. Um, but uh, I appreciate you guys watching. If you like what you see in here, uh, please consider uh, subscribing and sticking around. All these videos throughout the month of May are going to be like this. I've been Freddie, joined by Chase and Quinn. We'll see you guys next week.